Hey, coach, put me in. We are back. Welcome to my fifth beer review. I want to say fifth. Damn, man. If you haven't seen my other four, go check it out. I think I covered Vespertine, Homogenic, Post, and Debut. All records that I enjoyed. And uh, you guys recommended me this one next. But yeah, thank you for the recommendation. I'm super excited to check this out. I don't know anything about Medulla, uh, but we're here. So yeah, thank you for all the support on my channel. If you enjoy the video, consider doing something about it. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, we're here. I don't know um, how these headphones are looking with that new haircut, but you know, I'll figure it out. Track number one is uh, Pleasure is All Mine. This is some uh, ASMR kind of vocal paneling right now. The pleasure is all mine to to oh are, are these just our vocals? I like the way she says, who gives? I didn't know how many like vocal layers like there are in this. Sounds like one of these vocals are like crying, like trying to like mimic crying. Very interesting. I would say besides the bass, uh, every other thing in the production was comprised of some sort of vocal. I, I think that track was about, uh, I don't know the specifics, but it seems like she's, you know, happy to, to be providing about something. It says that she was a host. So maybe she's kind of providing for something here and that she was being generous. Cool way to start off the album. I, I really did like the production when it peaked at like, I want to say like three minutes in. Uh, like That was when the climax of the song happened. I thought that was super intense. It was very cool. Kind of weird, quirky vocals in the beginning and the end there, but it's kind of, okay. Track number two, we got a pretty short one. Uh, Show me forgiveness. Very suffocated vocal. Oh, oh, all right, short little cool acapella song. Uh, I think that track is about maybe her wanting uh, forgiveness for kind of maybe showing a weak part of herself or maybe letting a little bit of insecurity and doubt in. She says that when she finds forgiveness, uh, then then this, this girl might live. I don't know what kind of girl she's talking about. I don't know she's talking about herself or anything. But yeah, I thought that was a pretty meaningful song. And uh, her vocals just sounded kind of like so like pushed back. And sounded, sort of like they were being held back by something. Track number three is uh, Where is the Line? Where is the line with you? Where is the line with you? What is that? Where is the line? What is that background vocal? Is that her? Who's who's beatboxing, bro? I've never heard beatboxing plus like church vocals kind of beat. Bro, am I at a lunch table or am I ascending to heaven? Like, pick a pick a vibe, bro. Oh, actually, this is actually sick. Ooh. 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 
Why is this growing on me? This shouldn't be. This sh I shouldn't like this. I definitely enjoyed the beatboxing on uh, the second half of that song a lot. Uh, that was crazy. I, I don't think that there was any uh, kind of instrument on that track at all. I've never heard beatboxing like be mixed with choir. I think that track is about, was about her trying to uh, understand someone and you know trying to find the line of boundaries or something. I don't know if it's about a significant other or you know just someone else who's close to her. But she's definitely coming at a perspective of you know she's starting to kind of become sick of this person in, in, in a way so she's trying to just kind of figure figure them out more. So it seems like she's trying to be supportive but I don't know. Okay track number four is Volcuro. Oh man I don't know any of this. Facts, facts. Yep, yep. Damn, but it seems like the choir uh, spun the block again on that one. Obviously, she's singing in, uh, I think, Icelandic. So uh, I didn't get what she said on the first take. So I did read, I did read uh, the lyrics on Genius, and I found out that that this track is about her daughter. I'm assuming because at, at the last verse, uh, the final word was my my little girl. So I'm assuming that that whole track was just kind of about her talking her daughter in a very natural kind of way. She ref refers to a lot of different kinds of landscapes in nature, spring, fall. Describes her blue eyes and, you know, her blessed smile and everything like that. Just basically kind of a track, I think, dedicated towards her. That was a nice chill Loki vibe. I, I do like that choir a lot. I think it, I think it it's it's nice it's not overbearing you know it's super it's super gentle and i wouldn't be i wouldn't be asking anymore from the production anyways track number five is uh old burton oh great another one yo people who like asmr would fuck with this shit Yeah, she's speaking facts. Ooh, this Damn. Okay, all right. I just spent the last five minutes searching for a translation for this. Uh, and it turns out this that was all gibberish. Uh, and she did not say a single actual word on there. So yeah, uh, <laughs> not much to really analyze, I feel like. Uh, I know, I, I, going back to a kind of acapella vibe, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, she was showcasing a lot there and it's funny I wonder how this kind of song would look like in a kind of production system because I mean there's only so many vocal vocals taking place at once so it must be not that hard to like fully mix all right track number six is who is it oh my god dude whoever mixed this went crazy Ooh. that is a deep bass that sounds like a monster dude we're beatboxing, I like that. her too damn i like that i like that i'm getting the uh, vibe that i i'm pro i'm probably just reali realizing this very late but uh none of the production on here is going to be uh from anything other than vocals whether it's her vocals or the choir uh it seems like it's just going to be authentically her i, I think that track was about Maybe uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it was her daughter, or maybe maybe it was about the person that she was maybe 
in love with at the time, making her kind of feel better about herself, putting her in a very strong state of mind, giving it back her confidence. She uh, she's singing these lyrics uh, in a, in a question, so I don't know if she's kind of pushing the message back out there to the people, or maybe she's asking herself that question. Otherwise, though, I think it's I think it's a very beautifully written song. Right, this is some ser some serious bad timing. Track number seven is Submarine. <laughs> Those aren't her vocals. They can't be. I'm not getting in a submarine. Is this Icelandic or is it gibberish? I feel like I'm in an incubator right now. All right, not gonna make any submarine jokes because that's not funny. All right, this is a serious channel. I'm being serious. I think what she meant by submarine was because uh, talking about a deep sleep and the submarines are typically deep in the ocean. But yeah, submarines typically deep in the ocean. So maybe it's kind of a big metaphor for, you know, stop the submarine behavior. I don't know. Stop the deep sleep. Wake up. I don't know. I, I did appreciate those male vocals on there. Uh, kind of a, a good contrast because uh, those vocals are very deep and it fit well with the subject matter of submarines being deep in the ocean and deep sleeping. All right, track number eight is Desired Constellation. It's tricky when well, so far, this production is different. These lyrics aren't correct, aren't they? Are these just vocals? If so, that's crazy. Desired constellation. Make it right. There's a slight little beat in the background. It's like slight tapping. It's like a slight little beat. Bro, I have no clue what that track was about, but it was, it was my favorite so far. Were those vocals on the production? Like, were those like, were those kind of keys? Were those like vocals, bro? Because if so, like, congrats to her. I would, I would have never like, I would have never guessed that shit. Yeah, definitely my favorite song on here so far. Uh, even though I have no clue what it was about. Uh, usually the lyrics on screen help me. But just production-wise and atmosphere-wise, everything, just, I, I don't know, that track just felt so cinematic and surreal. All right, track number nine is Oceana. From Mother Ocean. There's a lot, a lot to digest off of that. Damn, relax. Wow, I like that beat right now. Bro, she held that shit. I'm not even gonna lie. I kind of enjoyed the production on that. Uh, I feel like that track was kind of about a lot of different kinds of oceanic metaphors relating to her and her relationship with others. Maybe her daughter uh, and maybe, you know, someone that she's, you know, having a love affair with. A lot of different kind of uh, themes about 
ocean things and just everything kind of presented to us within the song a lot of different kinds of dynamic vocals taking place within that too uh you know she she had a parts where her vocals were kind of going up and down as, as she was singing the choir and everything as well it was kind of it's probably one of the more layered songs production wise that we've definitely heard so far our track number 10 is sonnets slash unrealities six wait no was that 11 is that 11 i know is x5 or is it one? Oh, it's 11 it's 11 it's gotta be 11 i think x is 10 as mine in time not far away rising words as uttering over match stand helplessly before the spirit at bay. Send me a little word. This is beautiful. That I, I don't know what she's talking about though. And hear one bird sing terribly afar in the lost land. Very cool, very cool. Nice and a little nice little choir backing her up kind of helping her out uh yeah man that was a good song that was a good all right track number 11 is ancestors that's a piano that's a piano that's got to be a piano that can't be her voice what the fuck I like this, it's kind of making me uncomfortable. She's hyperventilating over a piano. There are a shit ton of vocals happening at once. Yo, this is exactly how I be in my girl's ear. I mean, how do y'all want me to analyze that? Like, how do y'all, like, what do y'all want me to say? Like, how, why, what am I supposed to say to that, really? Seriously, like, am I, am I supposed to go in, like, in depth there with that? I mean, it, it, it sounded like she was, I'm gonna say that there is no shot you listen to that. In your free time there was no shot you listen to that and be like yeah this is fire I, 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 it's cool conceptually it's cool conceptually how she's layering so many vocals on top of each other and everything like that and I'm sure there's some hidden deep deeper meaning that I don't know but ha like what yeah, track number 12 is mouth's cradle It sounds like the Roblox death. Like baby villagers in Minecraft. Like, no, the baby zombies. The baby zombies in Minecraft. Look up. No, 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 no. Listen, I'm pausing the song because I'm telling you. Look up baby villager zombies Minecraft. Look up, no, look up baby Minecraft zombies. This is what those vocals are. I can't take these male vocals seriously. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know what those lyrics about the mouth's cradle was about basically 90 percent of the song lyrics i don't know kind of what she's diving into there describing her child's teeth and everything like that i don't really know but i got the end there with the whole osama and bush kind of thing her, her wanting to get away from the conflict it seems like maybe I, this album was released in 2004 so i guess it was kind of close to the 9-11 attacks year year wise and i guess that there were 
I don't know if they were at war with Iraq at the time. I don't really know. Seems like a very spontaneous subject change in the, within the song because I don't think those lyrics in the beginning and throughout the whole song were about the Iraq war. All right, track 13 is uh, Mid Vuku Docks. <laughs> We're not saying words again, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I thought that track was cool. Number 14 is Triumph of the Heart. <laughs> What is this goofy? Is there is there a cat meowing in this? I still don't like his B really though. Alright. Alright, what an album. Why did this song come out there? Uh, Random Boards of Canada moment. That song was alright. I think that, um... Another one that I don't know what it was about. Shout out to uh, The Heart for triumphing. And uh, yeah, that's the song. <laughs> so conceptually, I, I thought this album was very creative. In general, just because of the fact that barely any instruments were used, if any instruments were used. I mean, I heard a piano in one song. But you know, other than that, I don't think that I heard anything else other than the choir a few times. That's all the beatboxing too. I thought it was just a really good idea. It's so, it's so good creatively. But, I mean, y'all know me. Y'all know I'm a big replay value guy. And honestly, I don't find myself going back to much songs on that album. Desire Constellations is a, was a really good one. I think I do find myself going back to that one. But other than that, I think that that's my one that I'm taking away from this. I don't really grasp a lot of the subject matter because half the songs were in gibberish. But uh, I'm sure that there's some deeper meaning to this whole album that I can't really find off rip. I suppose that most of this album was about taking care of her child it seems like she's speaking from kind of a motherly perspective here and uh yeah i think i think that that's primarily what the album is about uh i think the choir was my probably my favorite part of the production i feel like it added just, just such a a lot of variability and i think if it wasn't for the choir i think the album would have seemed seemed pretty dry to me but yeah that's medulla uh enjoyed it kind of <laughs> as, as a listening experience, I thought it was pretty entertaining. Where would I rank it right now for Bjork albums? I know I, I, a lot. Of, some of y'all are calling this her best. A lot of y'all are calling like hyping this shit up. But to me personally, I so yeah, that's the video. That's the review. Uh, if you like the video, maybe leave a like or subscribe if you want. Uh, uh, I think I have some more Bjork to get to. So uh, if you want me to, whatever album you want me to listen to from her, drop it down below. Uh, or any other artist period uh, you, you know that these videos are strictly recommendation based and yeah, that's the video Thank you for watching and I will catch you later